Hey guys, I know it's late, but I wanted to do a quick video because April 16th was my uh, marker. For now, I only have two more months exactly. Well, now one day less, but until my top surgery, and I wanted to talk a little bit how I'm preparing for my top surgery. So the first thing I'm doing, as you know, is I've been working out a lot, trying to build muscle, um, and the next thing after that is, you know, eating healthy so that I can build that muscle and actually, like, lose. I want to try and lose a little bit of weight in my stomach so that I don't have, like, a total panic attack when I <laughs> when it becomes, like, even more obvious than it already is, um, especially with my hips because they're big. Um... I am doing surgery with Dr. Hazen, Dr. Alexis Hazen at NYU Langone. Uh, I have a follow-up appointment to just ask some more questions. In fact, my mom is going to come with me, which is really cool. Uh, so that's going to be in a couple of weeks. And then there's also going to be a uh, pre-op appointment where I'm going to meet with a nurse practitioner and just go over the procedures, find out who's on my surgery, a little bit more about timing, um, risks of stuff like that. Um, before that, even, I'm going to have a checkup with my endocrinologist. I'm going to um, have an appointment and blood testing with a hematologist because I have a blood clot gene, so I like don't really clot well. Um, so it's not something that's like a major concern for surgery, but there are certain things that they may do differently to make sure that, you know, nothing bad happens. Uh, so we're just, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, everybody knows what they need to know. Uh, otherwise, I have been sort of researching a lot, um, on YouTube and asking around what people are using to heal. Um, so... What I'm talking about here is scar repair, um, scar, you know, to lessen your scars, to essentially remove them. That is something personally for me that I really want is like as minimal scarring as possible. So I plan to not stretch them out and to take really good care of them. So because I'm crazy, I've already started buying everything as I learn from people because um, my body is really weird and usually with anything medical it does like the polar opposite of what anybody else says So I just want to make sure I have everything in case I have a weird reaction or it doesn't work as well or I need to use multiple different things so So far I have grabbed um, Moderma Advance I've heard mixed things uh, some people like Aiden Dowling swear by it uh, Other people who I've spoken to is like don't use that use this, which is uh, super expensive. Um, it's called Skin Medica, uh, and it has uh, centiline in it, um, and this is to remove your scars. Both of these, um, well, this is a gel, and the Mederma is a cream, but both of these are really, I believe, like, once your scars have healed, obviously, my surgeon will probably have me use, like, Neosporin and or whatever else um, until it heals, um, and then of course, Scar Guard can't be without it. Um, Everybody is, you know, always raving about Scar Guard, so I'm pretty sure that no matter what cream I go with or whatever, um, that's what I'm going to be getting. And then I also have a um, hundred level SPF sunscreen because I live right on the beach. I want to be able to go to the beach. I am going to make sure that pretty much, other than for the first five second thrill of probably the first time I go to the beach, that whenever I'm active at the beach or laying down and tanning, stuff like that, that my scars are covered. So, um, but still, to make sure, absolutely sure and positive that anytime I go outside, even if I'm like, you know, in a bright location at a restaurant, sitting outside, whatever, I want to make sure that I'm completely covered um, head to toe. So I'm going to put sunscreen on constantly. Uh, it's the sport spray kind, so it doesn't remove really with sweat and last quite a while. Um, mentally, um, I guess there's a lot of mental prep that I've been doing some of it on subconsciously. Uh, 
other stuff I've just been like working through like I've never actually been put out for surgery before I've had a bunch of like minor things done when I was awake um, but I've never been put under so really for me what I'm terrified of is not waking up and I am terrified that I'm gonna wake up feeling like my headaches are even worse. Uh, for those of you who follow my channel, you know that I have NDPH, which is New Daily Persistent Headache. It's a chronic illness where I have constant headache all day, super debilitating, nausea, etc. Um, however, these are not things that I'm focusing a huge amount of energy on right now because one, I have two months, so I'll probably have a panic attack about them the night before. Um, but two, because other than my NDPH, my surgeon considers me extremely healthy, um, and my whole neuro team doesn't seem to be concerned at all about me uh, going under and having the surgery. In fact, apparently some people find anesthesia to be like a reset, so, I mean, <laughs> that would just be literally the craziest thing ever if I woke up from surgery and my headaches were gone and I had like so much less dysphoria I just don't even know what I would do with myself I would have what I would consider the most like normal happy life that I could have imagined for a really long time so uh, but we're not gonna hold on to that anyway um, Otherwise, I mean, my surgeon thinks I have an advantage given my NDPH. I'm used to, number one, being debilitated. So I was bedridden for eight and a half months, so I'm used to having people have to take care of me and do shit for me that I want to, you know, that I just can't do, that I would want to do for myself. Um, it is still difficult just because I very much like to be able to do my own things. I'd like to be able to brush my own teeth and, you know, put my clothes on myself and, you know, bend down. I don't like to have to ask people uh, for help unless I, like, really, really need it and it's not going to inconvenience them. I'm very lucky that I'm going to be recovering with my parents and I just found out that my siblings are both going to be home uh, from college coming back to New York, so that's going to be exciting and also really helpful just to have that extra support around and some extra hands to help me with whatever I'm going to need help with. I'm going to bring my cats over there for two weeks because for two weeks I can't drive. So, um, you know, there's, I need somebody who can take me to the doctor appointments, um, that I'm going to need to go to, although things like therapy and that I'll probably just do over Skype. I'll only leave probably for my hospital appointments. Um, uh, otherwise, like, I'm just really freaking excited. I mean, the biggest part of preparing was me getting ready to decide that this was really what I wanted to do. And once I was like, okay, this is it, like, you know, weight lifted, I made the decision. And every single day, I just get more and more excited and more and more ready. Uh, so I really don't think that, you know, there's there's anything else that needs to be done um, I'm just, I'm done, and I, yesterday, if you saw my video, I raised all my money, uh, I was lucky, I found out that because of some other co payments and stuff, that my, uh, out-of-pocket expense for the surgery is going to be a lot less, so I was able to fundraise all the money, um, so I'm completely done with that, and that's like an, a major, major weight lifted off my shoulder, and at this point, I'm just getting extremely excited. Um, if you want to see me freak out about my initial reaction when I found this out, check out uh, my videos from yesterday. <laughs> but, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing to prepare. Um, if you've already had top surgery and I'm missing something, something that I should be paying attention to, something I could do to get ready... Let me know uh, in the comments below if you're somebody who is going through the same thing and you want to have a little camaraderie, uh, message me or, you know, comment in the details below. And if you have any questions about my process uh, or anything like that, feel free to also comment below. Um, please subscribe and you'll be able to follow along and uh, see what's going on. I'm going to be doing a really awesome unboxing video on Wednesday. Just got some good news today. Something's coming in the mail. If you've been watching my channel, you might remember what that is. Um, but yeah, have a good night and a good rest of the weekend.